Welcome to another episode of A Clan A Day podcast, brought to you by BagtownClans.com. I'm your host, Colin McDonald, and today we're exploring the fascinating and complex history of Clan Forbes, a powerful and influential family whose legacy has shaped the northeast of Scotland for centuries. While the origins of the Forbes clan may be shrouded in myth and debate, their impact on Scottish history is undeniable. Clan Forbes is often considered one of the most powerful clans of the Northern Lowlands, although questions remain about their true origins. Some historians suggest a Celtic or Pictish background, while others argue for a possible Irish connection. One popular legend chronicled by Sir Samuel Forbes tells of a man named Oshonchar who slew a ferocious bear in Aberdeenshire and took the name Forbes or Forbear in commemoration of the feat. This tale explains why the Forbes coat of arms features three bears' heads, symbolising the courage and strength of the clan's early members. Regardless of its origins, the Forbes family quickly became a dominant force in northeast Scotland. The clan's name first appears in historical records with Duncan Forbes, who received lands from King Alexander III in 1271. By the 14th century, the Forbeses had solidified their status with John de Forbes, who served as Sheriff of Aberdeen in 1374 and acquired significant land holdings. His son, Sir John de Forbes, known as Sir John of the Black Lip, further expanded the family's influence and laid the groundwork for the clan's future prominence. The Forbeses were known not only for their noble titles and extensive lands, but also for their fierce loyalty and martial prowess. Alexander Forbes, the first Lord Forbes, fought in the Battle of Harlaw in 1411, a brutal conflict that underscored the clan's military strength. Later, Alexander served as a key ally to King James I and during his imprisonment in England, even leading a contingent of troops to France to fight the English. His loyalty was rewarded when he was elevated to the peerage between 1444 and 1445, solidifying the Forbes' position as one of Scotland's foremost noble families. However, the clan's history is not without its darker chapters. The Forbeses were embroiled in a bitter feud with the powerful Clan Gordon throughout the 16th century. This conflict, fueled by religious and political differences, led to numerous skirmishes, murders and acts of vengeance. The feud reached its peak in 1571 with the Battle of Tilliangus, where the Gordons defeated the Forbeses and the subsequent massacre at Corgarth Castle, where 27 members of the Forbes clan were brutally killed. These events left a deep scar on both clans and took acts of parliament to bring about a fragile peace. Despite these internal conflicts, the Forbeses remained a significant force in Scottish politics and society. In the 17th century, Alexander, the 10th Lord Forbes, gained fame as a lieutenant general under the Swedish king Gustavus Adolphus during the Thirty Years' War. Upon his return to Scotland, he played a crucial role in suppressing uprisings in Ireland, further demonstrating the military might of the clan. The Forbeses were not only warriors, but also influential in the legal and political spheres. Duncan Forbes, Lord Culloden, is perhaps the most famous member of the clan, serving as Lord President of the Court of Session during the 1745 Jacobite Uprising. His efforts to prevent a general Highland Uprising in support of Bonnie Prince Charlie were instrumental in securing the throne for George II. Duncan Forbes's legacy is remembered not just for his political acumen, but also for his compassion as he later worked tirelessly to mitigate the harsh reprisals against the Jacobite prisoners. The clan's influence extended far beyond Scotland's borders, 
many Forbeses served in the British military and held prominent positions abroad. The Earls of Granard, for example, established themselves in Ireland and played significant roles in British politics and military campaigns, with the third Earl dying as the senior admiral of the British Navy. Today, the Forbes name is still associated with some of Scotland's most iconic castles and estates. Druminner Castle, once the clan's stronghold, and Castle Forbes, the current seat of the chief of Clan Forbes, stand as enduring symbols of the clan's rich history. Craigivar Castle, with its distinctive fairy tale appearance and the tragic ruins of Corgarth Castle, remind us of the clan's architectural and historical legacy. In modern times, Clan Forbes continues to celebrate its heritage through the Clan Forbes Society, which works to preserve and promote the clan's history and culture, whether through their military exploits, political influence, or architectural achievements, the Forbeses have left an indelible mark on Scotland's history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of Clan Forbes. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode of A Clan A Day podcast. I'm Colin MacDonald, and as always, go in Irie and both are leap.